Hi everyone, Nicole Kent here from the Southington Library. Welcome back to Take and Make Tuesdays. Today we are working on our Egyptian cartouches. To begin this, we're gonna open up our clay and we are gonna cut it in half and using the handy lines already in there. And then you're gonna put half of it to the side. Now the clay is gonna be stiff at first, so you're really gonna to have to work it with your hands, but you're gonna to want to mold it into an oval. So really just kind of start kneading it and then rolling it between your palms to make a cylinder. You can also use a pencil as a rolling pin. They work pretty well. And you wanna flatten it out to about a quarter inch thickness. As you can see, my clay got a little bit ripped, so just knead it between your fingers and it will repair the clay. Now, once you have it in a nice oval shape, you're gonna go back to your clay. And you're gonna cut half of it off of the remainder. You're gonna work it again between your hands and you're gonna roll it into a long cylinder. And we're gonna use this to outline the oval. as you're rolling, just make sure that it's even thickness. Now, if you have any excess clay, you're gonna cut it off and you are going to make sure that you put the seam at the bottom because that will get covered up. And any excess clay just put off, we'll use it next. So you wanna make sure that you really um, get that clay, the outline stuck to the oval. Um, you can use your knife or your fingers to kind of smooth the seam on the back side and make it more of one piece.
and we flip it over seam side down and you're going to take your cylinder if you don't have any left just make a new one and you're just going to cut off about a piece that's about the same width as your oval and we are going to attach that to the bottom so again you're just going to gently press it into the bottom and then flip it over and smooth it together Make sure you don't press too hard. You don't want to mess up the front. Now we're going to make the little rings around it. So again, using the leftover clay, you're just going to roll out three to five cylindrical pieces. And then you're going to wrap them from the front around to the back. So go ahead and flip that around and again, smooth everything together. And then if you need to make any more definition lines, go right ahead. Next, we're gonna take our hieroglyphic alphabet and we are going to plan out what we want to write on our cartouche. So traditionally, if you want to write like your name, you're going to look at the alphabet and sketch it out. Now you can do this phonetically instead of like a one to one letter to hieroglyph. So for example, my name is Nicole. I would write N-I-K-O-L instead of N-I-C-O-L-E because it's not necessarily a one to one ratio. So once you've figured out what you're going to write, you can either use the toothpick or a pencil and you're just going to sketch it out on your cartouche. And if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Just use your finger to buff out the mistake and you can start again. So I started with a pencil to get little, just very light outlines. And then I'm gonna go back with the toothpick and make them deeper and more defined.
Now you're gonna preheat your oven to 275 and let it warm up. You can use a conventional oven or a toaster oven. Just what, do not use a microwave. Once it's preheated, just put it on a tray and pop it in the oven for approximately two, uh, 30 minutes. You don't wanna over bake it. And then once it's done, you're just gonna use a pot holder, pull it out and put it on a place to cool. Just keep in mind that it will be a little bit flexible, but once it cools down, it will harden. So thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this take and make.